With Sweden poised to become the 32nd member of NATO, President Biden avoided what could have been a serious headache throughout the NATO summit. A short time ago, I spoke with the Swedish prime minister about Ukraine's desperate push to follow in Sweden's footsteps. And in this CNN exclusive, he shed some light on President Biden's role in clearing the path for Sweden to join. We have felt a very, very strong support and commitment from the United States and from President Biden all the time and very explicitly uh, illustrated by the invitation to the White House last week. So uh, we really feel a strong support from, from major uh, NATO allies, uh, including, of course, our neighboring countries. Uh, so but the details between, between other countries, I cannot really tell. We have had a... a we have had good negotiations between Sweden and uh, Turkey and, uh, and the NATO system itself on fighting terrorism. That has been the main, uh, the main uh, uh, question for our, for our discussions. Prime Minister, you mentioned seeking protection as one of the main goals in your joining the alliance. We've repeatedly heard tough talk from the Kremlin about Sweden and Finland joining NATO. And today, Dmitry Peskov, a spokesperson for the Kremlin, said that there would be countermeasures. Do you read that as a threat? What is your level of concern? Well, we are quite used to those uh, threats and that kind of threats. They have been repeated by, by, by the Russians uh, all the time against Sweden and against Finland. So that is nothing new. But of course, we are concerned by, by, by disinformation, by, by other ways of trying to, uh, to uh, engage in, in an illegitimate way into, into Swedish politics, of course. But I think we are, we are strong. People are almost immune, immune against that kind of propaganda. So I think uh, we will handle this as well. And uh, not least since, the, since, since Russia's uh, invasion of Ukraine, Everybody in the world, including Russia, they know where we stand. They know that we are on, on Ukraine's side in this war, that we help uh, Ukraine in different ways. So, so becoming a NATO ally is a very natural step as well. What should NATO's approach then be to ending the war? Do you believe that the West needs to offer Vladimir Putin an off-ramp toward a ceasefire? Well, I don't have any, uh, any other view than most other countries right now. We, we stand on Ukraine's side. Ukraine uh, must win on their terms. The war must end and the Ukraine's future must lie in the hands of the Ukrainians. All these are fundamental principles. That also is the reason why we always uh, repeat the fact that Ukraine is not only fighting its the war for itself, it's also fighting the war for all other uh, European and other democracies that want to, to, um, to decide the future by themselves. So I think this is an extremely important task and we will, we will do what it takes to, to, to continue our help to Ukraine. On that note, winning on Ukraine's terms, at least publicly from President Volodymyr Zelensky, has meant retaking Crimea and military experts say that that would require a level of investment in Ukrainian forces that to this point uh, has not been made. Are, are you as part of NATO now prepared to make those significant investments and does it worry you that it could lead to a further escalation with Russia? Well, very many NATO countries are providing uh, Ukraine with uh, different kinds of material, weapons, uh, including Sweden, of course, and that was also a historic decision in Sweden to, to start doing so, but we have done it in a, in a pretty uh, impressive way, if I may say myself, uh, and we continue to do that. So, so uh, I think that's the right way of doing it. Uh, and of course, the Ukrainians, they, they realize they need even more and they are very precise in what they in what they wish uh, and uh, I think we have done our share of that and we continue to do our share of that but of course, obviously different countries all all countries have to make their own decisions on that but I uh, here at the NATO summit we feel a very strong support for for Ukraine uh, for very natural reasons 
Uh, so not long ago, Jen Stoltenberg said that NATO would invite Ukraine to join the alliance when conditions are met. What are those conditions? Well, I have to be honest, uh, Sweden, we are not yet a, a, a full member of NATO, so I will not go into, I won't, as a non-member so far, I will not have any, any views on how NATO as an organization should, uh, uh, should act uh, um, in relation to another country which is not a NATO member. So I think that, that, is, a, that is a reasonable and necessary um, uh, uh, principle for me right now. We support Ukraine in many, many different ways and we do it together with other countries as well. But we don't uh, have any views on how NATO right now should uh, act in relation to, to Ukraine. Well, there, there are significant concerns from the White House, for example, about domestic corruption within Ukraine. And National Security Spokesperson John Kirby told CNN this morning that Ukraine would need to work on those issues in order to be part of the alliance that you will soon join. Do you have concerns about corruption in Ukraine? Well, as I said, on, on, on the relation between NATO and Ukraine, uh, Sweden do not, does not have any, any, any opinions of our own. What I can say, though, is that since we've had the, the same discussion on Ukraine's uh, cooperation and accession to, to the European Union, I've been following that extremely closely, being the, the Swedish presidency. Uh, uh, and regarding that, uh, uh, there were set up some criteria for for Ukraine to, uh, to uh, make progress uh, within, uh, to be able to, to start uh, um, the negotiations. And there will be a full report during fall uh, this year on how these criteria are developing. And I think most countries, at least in the European Union, are very impressed by the ability uh, from the Ukrainians to, to, uh, to deliver results uh, on these areas in spite of an ongoing war. So uh, basically I do believe in Ukraine, but I will stick to not having any opinions on how NATO should act uh, in regards to Ukraine. Our thanks to Swedish Prime Minister Ulf Kristersson for... Please join the conversation. Put your comments and suggestions below in the comment section. Thank you for subscribing to this news channel. You will be notified of any breaking news and new post as you become part and parcel of the MCAD TV family. Please like and share MCAD TV. We love you all. Please support MCAD TV Foundation by joining membership and visiting Amazon UK to purchase the displayed books to aid our orphanage projects across Africa.